Today we're going to demystify the numbers on fertilizer bags. Which one should I buy? Why should I buy it? And is it the right thing to get? Let's break it down and make it really simple. There are three numbers, as in this example, 815. The three numbers represent the following things. N is the first number, nitrogen. Nitrogen, we know, means green growth, vigorous growth, and it's part of the chlorophyll building, which is what gives our plants beautiful green leaves. Without green leaves, we don't get flowers. Really important. The next number, the middle number, is P. P stands for phosphorus, as in superphosphate, and that's important for root development. Phosphate is also an important source of calcium for the plants, which gives you strong cell walls. The end number, K, NPK, is potassium. Now, potassium brings flowers, strong cell development as well, and the rigidity and immune system of the plant. Sounds strange, but yes, the immune system builds strong cell walls, which means your plants are not going to be susceptible to bugs or diseases. If you're looking for a rose fertilizer, think about what roses need. They need good, strong leaves to produce great flowers. If we have to look at the ratio then of 815, 8 is the amount of nitrogen available to give you good, strong leaves, 1 is the phosphate, P is the potassium, and obviously that's a large number to give you good flowers. On a lawn fertilizer, you'll see the ratio is 713. Seven, greening shows you more available nitrogen, which is what we're wanting. The one is the phosphates, the three is the potassium, which once again is the strength and immune boosting of the fertilizer. When applying your fertilizer, make sure that you don't put it close to the stem or anywhere near the leaves. The other thing is, once you've watered your fertilizer, which is important with any chemical in order to release the nutrition, you'll often find that these granules will remain behind. That doesn't mean that the fertilizer hasn't gone into the soil. The granules are simply the carrier. The fertilizer is already packed in here. As soon as water hits it, the fertilizer becomes available and the nutrition becomes available to the plant. So don't water and water and water until you hope all the granules disappear. That ain't gonna happen. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more gardening tips.